This is my grandfather's typewriter, an incredible staple of engineering and a deep memory to me. He gifted it to me right before dying with this letter. Use this instead of your technology. Screens are for classic grandpa. And we just don't get this kind of systemic sexism anymore, do we? So it's time to bring it back. Now, when I say bring sexism back, I'm joking, obviously. That would be way too complicated. You would have to put men in every position of power, and that's just not gonna happen. No, what I mean is bringing my entire grandpa's soul and personality back to life. Well, Disney style, but without the whole frozen head thing. That was just weird. And then put this soul into his old typewriter so I can interact with him through these very keys. And most importantly, my grandma can talk to him again. She misses him so much. And there's two ways to do that. One is insane and completely irrational. The other one is very logical and safe. First option is we train an AI with all of my grandpa's documents and the media he consumed. And then we prompt that AI with sensors that I put in the typewriter that track the key presses that we'll definitely not forget to put in. Second option, we'll go down in hell, get my grandpa's soul back, imbue him into the typewriter, so when we type on it, he talks back to us. So which one's the logical approach? I know, I know, it's the second one. That's right, Boots. We're gonna strike a deal with the devil. Okay, Terrence, time to test it. Now that should make him react. Wait, what the fuck is wrong? Come on! <sighs> Such a fucking failure. I couldn't bring him back. And worst of all, that shit is never gonna sell on Craigslist. What am I gonna do now? Are you gonna give up again, loser? What about the second option? That's it. It's the, the insane and irrational approach. Let's go get Grandpa the tech way. Hey, I'm Terrence Grover. This is my wireless interview. Wait, there's no color on the Google logo? No, we didn't get the right. Oh. To resurrect people, you need a Raspberry Pi. That's a small computer. You can do a shitload of things with it. When your nerd level is high enough, you can basically summon them out of thin air. It's crazy. So to resurrect people, you need a sound card, a speaker, a large language model. And finally, to resurrect people, you need a shit ton of data from the 1940s. That is very specific. And, and a bit of coding skill. But I'm thinking, Terrence, you megalomaniac asshole, why do we need coding skills to begin with? Well, that's simple. It's because we've got to train the large language model with a computer script before porting it to the Raspberry Pi. For the basis of the language model, I take something smaller than ChatGPT, because you know, tiny computer. Hey, fuck you, man. Now it just sounds super complicated, especially when on TV, they tell you that you can do the same shit with prompt, prompt engineering, engineering, which is taking the AI, telling it exactly how you want it to act, and just waiting for an answer. But that just doesn't work for us. I don't want the typewriter to just be a forced AI. I want it to think like my grandpa. I want this typewriter to have my grandpa inside of it. That sounded wrong. Fuck, that sounded wrong. So anyway, I started training the AI on his favorite books, but that was not enough. So I wrote a program to get all the scripts of old ass movies from the internet. Cause that kind of sounds like the old times, doesn't it? So now I have this big ass database of amazing old school media. And the Wizard of Oz, for some reason. But I was still not enough. So I then wrote down a bunch of conversations I had with my grandpa when I was a kid. And then I trained a small AI model on all of that. And it's taking a shit ton of time. Right, it's been approximately 600 hours. So we're gonna test him on the computer before sending him over to the typewriter. So let's start with an easy question, like, uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, it sucks ass. And that's because political correctness is a term that was coined in 1917, but only started getting used in the Western civilizations between the 1930s and the 1970s. So my grandpa, not a big fan of it. For example, take an educated, politically correct person and ask them, what do you think the main factor of unemployment is? They would answer something along the lines of No, one that speaks English would say Too many factories, not enough young people Or it's the system, it's gonna get better Now what my grandpa would answer is Those young people are fucking lazy Or 
Oh, I can't read this one. So we're gonna need to be cheeky and take an uncensored model as our basis. A model like that can teach you how to cook math and carry out terrorist attack. But most importantly, it can speak like an old man with no restraints. All right, so it's been approximately six months. Let's test this on the computer before sending him over to the typewriter. So let's start with an easy question. Uh... <laughs> yes, that is exactly what we want. But it's not really going to be him until he's on the typewriter. But the typewriter was nasty. He might have with his secretary during office hours. I don't want to know. So I had to clean it with paint thinners. Now paint thinners smell very good, but if you smell them for too long, you kind of pass out. And when I woke up, it was time to try it. I forgot something. Shit. I will definitely not forget to put in. Now to be honest, I didn't think this far. Training the AI was already a miracle by itself. I didn't even think I could do it. So I had to come up with a solution. Now I could have put sensors in the typewriter, but there's not much space in there. So I decided to put distance sensors, three of them. One for each row on the side of the typewriter and make every distance a key. So when I would type something, the Raspberry Pi could interpret the distances into key presses, input that into the AI, and then it would reply through the speaker. Now we can use ultrasonic sensors like I did in my previous project, but they're just big and bulky. And I actually have a problem with that, is that the sensors are too big and they're gonna overlap between each row. So after long hours of research on the internet, I stumbled upon these. Now this is not a pack of drugs. Who needs drugs when you have engineering? These are sensors. Time of flight sensors. They use infrared instead of ultrasound. We just put them on the side and they measure the distance to the finger with light. So I made this circuit, which has all three sensors and a multiplexer that allows the Raspberry Pi to interact was all three of them. Then I upgraded to Raspberry Pi 5 and added some computing power so that the AI could actually run on it. What's the main factor of unemployment? World War II. What? World War II? <laughs> grandpa, what was Grandpa against? What was Grandpa against? Uh, immigration. He was slightly racist. What? Do you think of immigration? Too many foreigners crowd in our country, taking away jobs from locals. Too many foreigners crowding our country, taking jobs away from locals. Now that sounds like my grandpa. He's definitely back, but I think I can fix him. They just bring problems like crime, poverty, and terrorism. We have enough of our own problems. Terrorism? <laughs> I can't fix him. <laughs> what do old people hate? Climate change. What's your take on climate change? Climate change is a hoax. Plain and simple. <laughs> Classic. Classic 1940s. Climate change is a hoax. And now maybe the ultimate question, did my grandpa ever love me? I crashed entirely. Undet undetermined quote string. The AI crashed entirely. He never loved me. This whole process was a fucking mistake. I'm, go I'm gonna end my life now. All of that bullshit for absolutely nothing.